everyone, Happy New Year! Um, I'm shooting this on New Year's Eve and I thought I would do like a get ready with me for 2018 video where I put on my makeup and I talk to you about my year 2017 and my goals and hopes and dreams and aspirations for 2018. So it's a chatty video and I hope you like it so keep on watching. Okay, I'm gonna start off with some concealer. I'm not going to say which type of product I'm using because all of them are just kind of old and gross. So, um, yesterday I wrote down all of the things that happened to me in 2017. Everything from, you know, actual events that have happened to like feelings that I've had. It kind of turned out to be a pretty interesting list. Like I wrote a whole lot of it down. Like that's all the stuff that happened to me and it's a lot. If I had to sum up my 2017 into like a phrase, I would say it was like finding my purpose and my passion. Um, I've always known that like my purpose in life and what I want to do with my life was to like help other people through what I was doing. The how is a very difficult question to answer. And finding your passion in life is also doesn't come that easy all the time. I know the things that make me happy you know, figuring out from there, like how do I translate that into like a passion or like an actual thing that I can create was a thing, I think a thing that I figured out in 2017. It was the first time that I kind of like paved my own path. I'm a person who's pretty like risk averse, I would say. I, te I typically tend to take like the safer path or like the path well-traveled. And I think that's also why I went into software engineering in a lot of ways. Because all my life, my parents were like, hey, Mariko, whatever you do, just make sure that you are able to financially sustain yourself. Now that I have this like position that I'm in that, you know, I can afford to do all like things that I want to do now. What is it that I really want to do? And I think, yeah, 2017 was like a year that I actually like thought about that really hard and realized what it is that I could try to do at least. Although I'm not going to like beat around the bush and say that it wasn't a tough year. I, I think for like news and politics and everything that's going on in the world, it was probably like the hardest year. I've never been so attuned to like, you know, world news before. Um, luckily, like I was fortunate in that I didn't get affected by any of this like super directly. But, you know, every time there was news about like North Korea doing like a bomb thing or something, I was like, oh, like that's terrifying because my parents are in Tokyo and that's super close. Yeah, pretty interesting year. I wonder what like history books and stuff are gonna say about the year 2017. Because I would say it was a pretty like different year. Yeah, being an adult means that, you know, you're paying attention to this stuff now. So yeah. Um, this year, uh, I started my YouTube channel and I posted nine videos. Um, I'm pretty proud of that, but I also, one of my like resolutions for 20, 18 is to post a lot more. Um, I'm hoping to post like, I think I'm gonna say twice a month right now. Getting a video out once a week is tough, but I do, one of my other resolutions for 2018 is to become a better writer. And so I do want to write a script maybe every week or just anything really every week. Writing is not a skill that I like inherently worked on very much growing up because I was like, I'm gonna do the sciences. I don't need to learn how to write. But turns out being really well written and articulating your thoughts well is a really important skill to have in all different careers. Like, especially as I'm getting into more kind of like a senior type of role at my job, um, a lot of my job is like communicating to other people what I'm doing or what the team is doing or technical decisions that we've made. And doing that well is super important and doing that in such a way that other people will understand is also really important. I really want to like have 2018 be a year of consistency and uh, like meaningfulness, I guess. All the things that I've figured out about myself in 2017, the purpose and the passion that I found in 2017, I wanna make sure that I follow through with that in 2018. I think I have a little bit of a follow through problem and so doing that I think will help um, and it's something that I want to work on. Instead of writing goals, I said, you know, by the end of 2018, I want to be. I don't want to be afraid to be friends with people that I admire. Um, I do a thing of like putting people onto like a pedestal 
when I really like them. And so I think of them as kind of like a god and I'm just like, wow, you're so incredible. Like I know who you are and you know who I am and that alone is enough. They say surround yourself with people who make you better and that you admire. But if I keep pe putting people on a pedestal, I can't do that because then I'm always just gonna be like, no, like don't hang out with me. I'm not worthy, like, uh. So I think part of it is like imposter syndrome, but I don't want to do that anymore. And I actually do want to get to know the people that I really admire and hang out with them because I feel like it's a missed opportunity on otherwise, you know? Okay, I'm about to put on my eyeliner but this might be hard because I usually use two hands and I need my other hand to hold up my mirror. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this off camera because this is not working. Okay, I'm back. Cool, and I totally forgot what we were talking about, so I'm just gonna start somewhere. Oh, that's right, I was talking about not being afraid to be friends with people that I admire. I get invited to coffee dates a lot and stuff, but I've never really invited other people to coffee dates. So I'm gonna do that more because I want to have more like meaningful connections with people this next year and doing that with people that I really admire I think would be really cool. My other thing is like have more meaningful interactions. So that means less social media um, and more like coffee dates, more phone calls. But you know, I think a big part of this is just like learning to let go and not think so much about what other people are gonna think of me because that's something that I am like so prone to. I think so hard about what other people think of me and I need to not do that so much because Life is short and if I'm constantly worried about what other people will think, then I'm never gonna get anything done. And 2018 is gonna be a year where I get done. So I have to be better about that. Things in 2018 that I am very excited to do that are going to happen is that I'm getting married in August of 2018. So I'm very, very excited for that. I've been planning my wedding for a couple months now and things are shaping up pretty well. Um, I've never been the type of person to like have a dream wedding or like have thought about what my wedding was gonna look like when I was 12. Like I didn't think about that at all. Yeah, all of this like wedding stuff is like brand new to me. I don't know anything. So it's a lot of like learning and figuring out what I want as well as like balancing the cost and making sure that everyone else gets their say. Um, so it's kind of like a mini project, if you will. So it's another like, I guess if you can call it a side project, a side project. What else is happening in 2018? You know, putting on mascara while doing anything else is like impossible. All done, okay. So what else is happening in 2018? Um, I just bought my tickets to go to Japan in April and I'm very excited for that. Um, we're going for 10 days and I'm gonna go visit my parents and my grandparents. Um, Scott and I are both going and in April, hopefully the cherry blossoms are super beautiful because I haven't seen the cherry blossoms in years and it's like astounding. So I'm really excited for that. I am going to VidCon in June and that'll be great because last year's VidCon I had a lot of fun and that's why I decided to start my YouTube channel to begin with. And so going this year as like a creator and you know learning a lot about YouTubing and meeting a lot of other YouTubers who are starting, I think is gonna be really fun. Um, I think that's all I have planned for 2018 right now. I'm trying not to travel so much in 2018 because 2017 was a lot of travel. It felt like from May to maybe like November, all I did was travel. Um, in order for me to stay consistent with things that I want to do for 2018, I basically like need to be home. I'm not very good at doing things on the go because I'm like, I want to enjoy the moment that I'm in. Uh, and so being at home, I think will help a lot. Other than that, I think 2018 is gonna be a great year and I'm really excited for all the things that are gonna come. I love this blush because it's got a little bit of shimmer in it, so it acts as kind of like a highlighter slash blush, which is great. I don't know if you can see the shininess in my cheeks, but it's great, I love it. Hey, I actually haven't put on makeup in a really long time. My face has been basically makeupless for like the last week, uh, cause I took a week and a half off I needed a little bit of a break and it was great. I slept so much and I finally like took care of myself and my mind and my body. 
and so I just didn't put on makeup because I couldn't be bothered to. And so that's that's it. This is my final look. Yeah, I hope you all had a great 2017. I know I did. It was every year I say this, but it was like the best year yet. And I'm really looking forward to 2018 and I hope you are too. So let me know what your resolutions are for 2018 and maybe we can be accountability buddies. Um, so let me know in the comments down below and I will see you next year. Bye!